Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Ooh boy, somebody is about to take action towards you. Okay, you could be a Leo. Not necessarily though. I feel like you're in the spotlight is the feeling that it's giving me. You could be like out and about looking beautiful, feeling happy and excited for spring and summer. Um, you could be maybe um, no matter where you live, wherever you are, you could be setting up like a hot tub or a swimming pool, right? Um, just getting outside, having a good time. You could be like around a lake or a pool or a river, something like the body of water. Um, yeah, somebody wants to come chasing after you because you're absolutely stunningly beautiful, okay? And you've got this glow about you. Yes, they're opening up their heart to you here. This is someone opening their heart chakra, wanting to be on the same path that you're on, but I feel like they're around someone else. They, they have someone who's a dark energy. I feel like it's a feminine energy that they're attached to. Okay, they could share a home with someone. But I feel like you're on your temple path. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that there's something that you could have possibly recently created, like a, a, a special project. Um, maybe you just started a YouTube channel. Okay, say you just started a YouTube, cha a YouTube channel. This is bringing in a lot of ultimate wish fulfillment for you and your family, okay? I feel like right now you're just, um, you're really focused on your family, your projects, your abundance, your stability. You know, um, yeah, you're living wish fulfilled life here, possibly in the spotlight. And there's somebody who's very envious and, and jealous of all of that. They're jealous of what you're doing for work. They're jealous of your happy family. Okay, I feel like they're, um, they're keeping a masculine wherever they are, but they're, the karmic is more focused on you than she is on this masculine. And this masculine, um, all they want is you. So... Yeah, this person is in love with you. I feel like they know about this. The karmic knows that this person is in love with you. Whoever this this dark feminine energy is, I feel like she could have been doing some spell work. She seems more like a warlock than a witch. Okay, but I feel like she's been, um, I don't know, sending bad energy your way. But spirit has you protected. Look, I feel like spirit is going to bring this, whoever this is, down. This dark feminine energy. Spirit is going to wreck them. I feel like um, it's not allowed anymore, you know. I feel like you're very protected. Yep, somebody's been doing some kind of spell work. Yep, she's been casting some kind of, but it seems like more of a warlock, okay? Um, so she could be in her masculine energy right now. Yep, and you are protected. Look at that. I feel like every, whatever she's doing, it, it almost seems like it's helping you grow. Maybe you're just really good at transmuting and transforming energy, you know, and, and you have it working in your favor, Okay. Um, you use you use energy to help you grow what spirit is telling you to grow here. I feel like you're very abundant, very stable. You're an empress energy and spirit's got you protected. I feel like whoever's been doing the spell work is going to be brought down. Okay. Yeah, the spirit has some kind of strategy. And I feel like as you keep having a win... This, whoever this is, is, is having losses. Yeah, you, you always, you're having a complete victory. Every time they send you bad energy or do a spell on you, you, you accomplish even more or um, your abundance grows. And theirs, I feel like she's losing money. Or, um, you know, it almost, it feels like her cupboards are bare and yours are, your garden is flourishing. You have... 
everything that you want here, it looks like, except for maybe a soulmate connection. Yeah. She's, look, everything that she's in is like, is dead. She's standing here looking at something that's, that's gone. Okay. Um, and she's needing to choose a new path. She, spirit is trying to tell her to stop doing spell work on you. Otherwise, whatever she's trying to make happen for you is going to happen to her. Yeah. Yep. And I feel like money is flowing to you. And it's, it's pretty much like her pockets are empty. Like it feels like money is leaving out of her life very quickly. And yours, it's coming to very quickly. So she may be trying to um, affect your finances. She may be trying to like ruin all of your money or... I don't know, ruin your progress or your abundance and stability, but she can't. It's actually happening to her. It's having an adverse effect. Um, so all of that energy is, I mean, it, I feel like she's doing it to herself, though. I don't feel like it's all coming back on her so much as her negativity and the things that she's worshiping and the things that... Uh, her envy, her jealousy, I feel like it's just making everything wither in this karmic's life. And I feel like then she's going to get that spell work returned on top of it. I feel like the masculine is getting very hostile. They're wanting out of the situation, okay? And they're wanting to come to you, the one who's holding the coin, the one who's abundant and stable, the one who's intuitive. Okay, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like um, you're just focused on your path. You're focused on the messages you're getting from spirit. You're focused on your stability, your home, your family, and living a peaceful, happy home life and family life, okay? You're a very good mother if you have children. If not, you're nurturing your business, okay? Um, you may own your own business, yeah. This person, your person from your past could possibly be um, either a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, whatever people have done to you has only made you stronger. And I feel like this karmic doesn't know what to do. And she's about to get hit with her own spell work as well. Yeah, look, all of these doors of opportunity are just bursting open for you, collective. I mean, your life just keeps getting better and better. And hers is literally withering. It's just like everything is withering in her life. Okay, including the relationship or the connection that she had with this masculine. Okay, because this masculine now, I feel like um, this masculine could be actually very mean to her at this point. Like, they could be very cutting and nasty. It's getting hostile. Okay, I, there could be a group of feminine energies that have been doing spell work on you here. But the universe is taking care of that. The, the universe isn't going to let any of that reach you anymore. I, it may have at one point, but not anymore. Yeah, and this masculine is getting ready to talk. They're opening up their throat chakra. They're opening up their heart chakra. This masculine's getting ready to talk. And I feel like they may even be defending you now against a group of feminine energies. Okay? who have been doing this spell work. I feel like the masculine is mad because they're like, look, with all the, you know, hoodoo voodoo stuff you've been doing, right? My, my finances are affected, you know? It's starting to affect the way I think, the way I act, the way I feel, you know? And, and I feel like they're telling these, these feminines to back off you at the same time. They're like, just, just leave the collective alone. You know, the collective is too strong for us. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. 
I kind of get the sense that this person is really defending you. You know, we've got Archangel Michael out here. Um, and I feel like Archangel Michael is kind of helping this person stand up for you, okay? They're getting some kind of strength from Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael's like, go boy, you know, <laughs> tell these people the truth. Yeah, and the door to spirit opens up for this masculine. When they defend you, Archangel Michael gives this person the strength to go up against these three feminines who have been doing spell work. Um, and when this person does that and they defend you, spirit opens a door for them. And I feel like that um, this is their opportunity to break free from this karmic situation and come towards this woman holding the heart. I feel like that's you. This is now, this is them proving, I feel to spirit, that they may be worthy. They get, a, they get one last shot, but they've got to defend you first. They've got to, they've got to tell these feminines, especially this karmic, to back off to back off the Divine Feminine. They're going to take a stand for you. And Spirit is going to let them through this door. And then they come towards you as the man holding the coin. Okay, this is like a King of Pentacles energy. So you could be dealing with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This person is intuitive as well. And I feel like, you know, when they were with the karmic and wrapped up in this karmic stuff and just keeping their mouth shut and watching it happen, I feel like this person's intuition was kind of blocked. But now it's starting to, it's starting to come back. See, see all this purple? See, you're the intuitive one. You're coming through initially, here you are, as the woman holding the coin. Very intuitive with all of this purple around you. Very grounded, very stable, okay? I feel like this masculine, their intuition was blocked when they were around these karmic individuals doing karmic -y things, right? But now they're getting that intuition back, and they want to come and join the woman holding the coin. This is, this is a, a potential for a union, okay? Now it's just an opportunity, this masculine finally does what they're supposed to do and defends the divine feminine and spirit gives them an open door of opportunity. Okay, and then they come towards you to try to reunite. Now, it's just an opportunity. You have a choice, collective. I feel like you can take this, ba this person back. Sorry, you can take this person back or you can choose to release and start a new journey, okay? The choice is going to be yours, but the, here's the thing. The karmic is being held back. The karmic um, is going to be experiencing her own spell work. She's going to end up bare bones, okay? Um, a lot of financial constraints. Um, she's going to have her abundance taken away because that's what she was trying to do to you. Okay, so she's going to be kind of out of the picture. Then when this masculine stands up and defends you, that's going to be it between the karmic and this masculine. And then that means that the universe is, um, the universe is seeing this person's potential. Okay, they're seeing that they've done something to prove their worth of a divine feminine. They defend you and cut this karmic out. So that door opens for them, okay? You're going to have this choice, though, whether to take this person back and go into union, right? The yin and the yang coming together, or whether or not to release it and keep moving forward. Because I'm seeing you as your bags are already packed here. Like, you don't want the baggage. You don't want the baggage anymore, okay? I feel like you're going to leave the baggage and the uh, the dream and hope for this connection in the past right i feel like that's what you're doing in this card but you actually have a choice you have a choice you know and i feel like you know that deep down in your heart you know this person is coming back in 
you can feel it with your intuition okay you could be a cancer pisces scorpio taurus virgo capricorn it's it could be giving you a lot of anxiety because you know you're going to have to make a, a decision here very, very soon, okay, when it comes to love. You can feel this masculine approaching you. You can feel it in the energy, okay? But I feel like you're about to get <clears throat> an apology. You're about to get your justice. And you're about to get a love offer, okay? And, and an opportunity. And I feel like, yeah, look, spirit is, look. Spirit is stopping the haters and whoever these karmics are sending you bad energy. They're going to be stuck in a storm, okay? I feel like they're, they're the ones stuck in the storm so that this, um, this masculine can come towards you. So that this connection has a chance at union. But it doesn't mean that you have to take them back. It's going to be your choice, all right? It's going to be your choice. Earth angel energy, divine feminine energy. Spirit's bringing balance to this whole situation, okay? The one who is trying to block and, um, and put out the spell work, that one's being caught up in a karmic storm and removed, okay? Feel like she's going to get caught in the funnel of this tornado and just be removed from this, from this equation so that this masculine can approach. Right now, you're already in that energy of walking away, but, but, hold up. For whoever this is resonating with, I do see that that door is, that gate is still cracked open, and you're still looking back to see if this person is coming or not. So you, I, I just feel like you can feel them approaching Maybe this is something that you're still kind of hopeful for, okay? But you're going to be faced with this, a decision here very quickly. So choose now what it is that you really want, all right? Because this masculine is coming forward, and they're going to be breaking free from the karmic, defending you, doing everything that they were supposed to do, okay? Yeah, so get ready for that. Um, let me get some advice, okay, or something, because you may not know what to do, you know, you may, this may confuse you, yeah, here comes this masculine, they're going the distance to bring you justice, okay, to bring you some fairness in this, yep, and there's that anxiety, right? I, you're going to feel some anxiety because this is happening like now. You can feel, yeah, now, collective. This is happening now. Okay, we're in that time period where this person is about to approach you. Okay, so you can feel this coming. <laughs> it's making you want to maybe escape. Um, and so I'm seeing you as the runner now and them as the chaser. Okay, that's what this is. Sorry about that, you guys. My battery died. Yeah, um, this is that runner and chaser energy. Okay, this is that, that, um, runner and chaser energy. We're, we're headed, like, it's almost like we're gearing up for it. You know what I mean? And this person's headed straight for you. I just heard, he's headed straight for you. That's, that's from uh, South Park. <laughs> yeah. They're dreaming about you. I feel like um, this person is being pointed in a new direction. You're about to get this, you're about to get communication from them, okay? They could be, they may be sending you a message or they could be trying to um, communicate with you in their dreams as well. If they're trying to do that though, they may feel very stuck. Like for some reason, maybe they used to be able to do that, infiltrate your dreams, but they can't anymore. Okay, I really feel like um, a mental and emotional block against this person. Like, yeah, you're really trying to block their energy out. You're trying to go from the last cycle into a new one. All right, you just want out of this dark energy. You want out of the stagnancy. You want forward movement. 
and you want somebody who's going to be dedicated and loyal and honest with you. Someone who's going to build a Ten of Pentacles with you, something solid and long lasting. Yeah, so right now you're in the process of leaving this person behind. Okay, you are about to get like a phone call or a message from them and they, they are going to be chasing after you. But um, yeah, you, um, you're focused on getting the right kind of person for you who's going to give you the right kind of offer. You want something solid. So yeah, but this person, I feel like they have a fire lit under them. I'm also getting that, um, you know, this is masculine energy, right? This could be somebody new coming into the picture. Someone new who is going to be honest with you, dedicated, loyal, and help you build the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, you know, I just know this is like, this is an opportunity that spirit, right, feels that this person has earned. Just an opportunity. Okay, so there's going to be an offer on the table for you, collective, and you get to decide what it is that you want. Okay, do you want someone new or do you want this person from your past? Because they're coming in fast. Okay, <laughs> they are real fast. 